Hello everyone, this is Dragonlord and welcome to episode 13 of Household Hogwarts in Minecraft. And last episode, we did start to finish off the East Wing. And so what we did is we continued this wall along here, we added all of these surroundings, we built this area right here, and all of these walls around here, which just added so much space and we basically doubled the area which we did from over here, which is really, really good progress. And if you have not watched the episode, there will be a link in the description and a card in the top right hand corner. And I have noticed that a few of you are not subscribed, so if you are enjoying the series and would like to support the channel, please make sure to subscribe, it will be really support the channel. And it's free and you can just unsubscribe at any time. And in addition, if you do get stuck at any point in the tutorial, you can join my Discord server for support and for a general Harry Potter community, the link is in the description. So the first thing we're going to do is build the training grounds tower which is in this gap where we left out last episode. And so the training grounds tower is very easy to build since the design at the top is identical to the bell towers so we can just use a clone command in some of that. And so after this we will continue the windows around here and maybe get started on the astronomy tower. And so without further ado, let's get straight into it. So some background information on the training grounds tower as always is well, this tower we see, which we'll be building, has only existed for two films. It gets added here in the half Love Prince. But first, let's go straight back to the first film. So the first film, The Training Grounds, was really more of a complex of itself. It was huge. It was absolutely huge. And we see it in the background of all the Quidditch pictures and the Quidditch training. So in the first film, it was filmed on location at Annick Castle, which is in the north of England. And it has a very large design, however, they did increase its height to make it look a bit more dramatic. However, a fun fact is in the Quidditch scene when, when Harry has his first training lesson, we see the Annick Castle and it is its original size as it is in the real location. However, a few scenes later in the Quidditch match, we see that has added a few more flaws. So just a little mistake that the filmmakers did make. And then in the Chamber of Secrets, its design did change again. And this design became more sloped, it removed both of its towers, and it had a kind of large triangular roof, which kind of... I, I say it's very good inspiration for the clock tower that got introduced in the third film. And then the training grounds tower remains almost identical basically until the sixth film. You can see it in many background shots in the Goblet of Fire and the Order of the Phoenix. And then we move on to the Half Blood Prince. And this is when it changes a lot. They remove the entire complex which is around this area and replace it with just this one little bell tower. And the reason for this that we are given is, well, the, to be honest, the, um, the truth is, they ran out of budget, and they thought that to build this entire training grounds area for the model of Hogwarts was just too expensive, and therefore, and since they had a spare bell tower lying around, well, what do they do? They just replaced the entire area with this one little bell tower. And since they justified the reason was, well, the training grounds played no real importance in the film of the Half-Blood Prince, and therefore, they just removed it completely to save some costs, since they didn't have to rebuild it. And this is one of the reasons I really dislike this tower, since it removes so much of the functionality of the training grounds, it removes such an important aspect of the Hogwarts model, and once we have finished this, you will kind of see how it kind of does make it look a bit ugly, since it just leaves a massive corner in what should have been a massive complex around here, which I think is a massive shame. And of course, it it's, it's a bit useless, to be honest, in this area, since the old training grounds had the location of the library, where you see the Quidditch pitch, which did make sense, the Quidditch pitch was over there. It also had charms and a series of other important larger classrooms, which were able to be used in this massive, massive area. But anyway, without further ado, let's get building the latest version of a training grounds tower. And so the first thing we are going to do is build up 31 blocks from our foundation in the corner. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And this tower is, well, clearly a square. And so this tower is 14 blocks wide. So what we're going to do is come across 14 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Just like that. And you will notice on my design, this is perfectly in line with the end of this area. Do not math, do not worry if it is not. It is completely fine. Since it's just such a large model, small mistakes they really do not matter. And then the next thing we need to do is build up another 13 blocks this way to kind of create a frame which we can use for a fill command. So come across 13 more blocks from this block here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
just like that. And that will look just like that. And then we can use our fill command, since we have this coordinate here, and a diagonal one down here. And so what you are going to do is take this coordinate right here, so by looking at it and doing flash fill, and pressing tab three times, or the equivalent to get these coordinates. Press enter, nothing will happen, and then fly up to these coordinates right here, whilst looking at this block, um, get the same command, and press tab three more times, and then fill it with cut sandstone. Of course, sandstone too, if you are on better condition. And then one thing I did just learn, thanks to people on my Discord server, so thank you guys very much for this. If you type in hollow after this, this will actually allow us to create just a hollow wall around the area rather than filling in the entire area, which is very useful. So we do hollow and press enter. As you can see, it fills it in like a box. Very, very nice. And that fills in that very large area very easily, just like that. And then all we need to do is just add in some decoration. So obviously there is this door around the bottom. So what we need to do is smash in a two by five area at your floor ground level. And so for us, the grass level is where we built the foundation. So at this level right here, and oh my gosh, that is quite loud. And so all we need to do is build in the door. So the door is gonna be six blocks along here. You may already have it marked in from when we did the foundations, but one, two, three, four, five, six, and then break in a five by two area, just like that. And then the next thing you want to do is grab yourself some smooth sandstone stairs and just whack in a nice archway, just like that. And then grab yourself some dark oak planks. We're just going to build in a nice door, just like that. And if you want, you can have yourself a trap door no, sorry, a stone button and a dark oak door and just place them, just place that there and then a button there. Obviously, this entire door would open, but obviously it's not efficient for Minecraft. So we have to add in a little door for us to get in <laughs> and that will look just like this. And then actually a quick tip from last episode is we did place in these windows in slightly the wrong location. It's no big deal. So grab yourself some black stained glass and then come down two blocks from here and place in a window right there, just like this and then come down another two blocks and then place in a window there and a window there. And that will remove that annoying alien face, which we had in the last episode. And then come into this place here and smash in a window right there. And then of course, the same thing on the other side. So this is a two block gap here. So go two blocks across and then on the third block, place in the next window just there. And yeah, it's a alien face there as well. Oh well. <laughs> And then at the top, just like we did on the bell towers, it did widen off at the top. So grab yourself some sandstone stairs and just build around the entire location, just like this, in kind of like upside down pyramid kind of style to make the top area come out by one block all the way around. And then it will come down one and a half blocks, so one block, uh, one block there and place this right here and just loop this around the entire tower as well. And so the next thing you're going to do is come across two blocks on the third block, come down two more blocks, and then smash in a two by four area. So one, two, three, four, just like this, and place in some smooth sandstone stairs just here. And then we're gonna add in another window. So grab yourselves some black stained glass to fill in the window behind, just like that. And then there will be three of these windows on all four sides. So leave another two block gap and then place in another gap right here and then another two block gap and then another window right here. And that will look just like this. And then of course add in the smooth sandstone stairs for the archways. And then of course the black stained glass behind to add in the window. And so the next thing you need to do is just repeat these windows onto the other three sides. And one thing I have noticed I have done wrong is, um, this is 15 blocks across, that's my bad. This entire tower should be 14 blocks across. And that does explain a little mishap on why this block right here is in the wrong location. So my apologies if you have done that wrong. However, if you did just do it by 14 by 14, like I said, you should be absolutely fine. I'll just go ahead and correct this mistake. My apologies if you made it too. And there we go, much better. My apologies if you did get confused. So yeah, that is my bad, I really do apologize. So this should be 14 blocks and this should be 14 blocks across. My bad, I am so sorry about that. And then the next thing we need to do is add some decoration to these windows. And so what we are gonna do is slope up just there with some stairs and just slope up like this and then come back down just like this. And we're gonna have this going around on every single window just like this on all of these three windows on this side, just like this. And then we'll loop around with some cut, with some sandstone slabs and then repeat the same thing onto this side as well, just like this. Basically a small archway over each window, just as in decoration. And that will look like this once it is complete with this decoration pattern, just going all the way around. 
And then the next thing we are going to do is just have another layer of um, sandstone slabs just wrapping around the entire tower, half block below where these windows are, just like this. And this will just wrap around the entire tower, just like so. And then of course, once you come in contact with the roofs, just stop right there and then continue onto the other side, not breaking any blocks and just stopping once you come in contact with the roof, just like this. And then we have another line of these car. Oh, then we have another line of these sandstone slabs. And so come to this block right here. And you'll know the height is right since it is one block below where we have our our battlements from the previous episode. So it doesn't really matter the height of this area. Just make sure it is one block below these battlements, basically right at this height along here. And so what we will do is just build this strip along here, and then just have this going along the entire way along along the stretch until we do come in line with this building over here and then come around it and then just continue this line along just like that and then now it is time to add on the roof section and luckily this is going to be really easy to do thanks to the clone command and so the roof on the training ground tower is very similar to the bell tower so similar well we can just copy it across however the only difference is it is that it is a little shorter and so rather than cloning it from this bottom here we will have it starting from this height right here so as usual grab yourself a gold block a diamond block and an emerald block of course it doesn't matter which blocks you use this is just the pattern i use now so come up until this gold block is in line with this kind of layer in between the windows right here and of course the gold block will be in the corner of the bell tower right there and so looking at this gold block do slash clone and then press tab three times to get the coordinates and press enter nothing will happen and then taking your diamond block right here just build up until you are on top of the bell tower just keep going up it doesn't really matter how high you are just keep going until you are above the bell tower so that is above the bell tower so let's take this coordinate right here obviously it doesn't have to be the exact same block i use it just has to be above the height of the bell tower roof and so take the coordinates of this diamond block by just going, press having three times, just like that, and there we go. And then all we need to do is just paste it onto this tower right here. And so we are going to place our emerald block in the corner, but not this corner block, this corner block right here. The reason is, well, this platform is a slightly, is a tiny bit smaller than that platform right there. And rather than having this one block gap here between um, the bell tower kind of top thing and these towers right there, there will be no gap at all. So you'll see what I mean once I paste it in. And so whilst looking at this block right here, press tab three more times and press enter. And it should get swapped out for a gold block, which is that gold block right there. And as you can see, I get pasted in. And you can see that it is very flush along here. And that will get pasted in just like this. And that was very, very simple, wasn't it? And all we need to do now is just delete this down block there, this gold block here, and this down block right up here. And there we have it, a very simple addition to our east wing and then the last thing we are going to do before moving on to the astronomy tower is the windows along this section here and so what we are going to do is come up eight blocks from your grass level of course it doesn't really have to be this precise but this is just how it is on my model and so our grass blocks are along this length right here the grass block level being the exact same level where we built our foundations at in episode one of course it's shown here which is a guide for me in episode one do not worry about it at all and so what we will do is come in three blocks on the third block and then come up eight blocks so one two three four five six seven eight just like this and then on the ninth block you'll play you'll break three blocks just like that and that will be just there don't worry too much about the height of it, it doesn't really matter just make sure it's kind of in the top half of this wind of this wall section right here and then what we will do is come up diagonally one block and break five blocks just like this and then three blocks just there and then five blocks around here and that will leave a five by three area just here and so just remove that just like so and then behind it what we are going to do is just place in five blocks here and then five blocks right there just like this and then also around the top just there and around the bottom just there just like that basically just a frame behind the window right here and the next thing we're going to do is grab ourselves some sandstone walls and just place these in the corner so one two three four five and then one two three four five just there just like this and then grab ourselves some smooth sandstone slabs and just place three here and then three there just like that and then the next thing we're going to do is grab ourselves some smooth sandstone stairs and place these right here just to arch off just like that and then we're going to add in some dividers so one there and then one here just like that and then behind obviously we are going to add in our window and so grab ourselves some black stained glass and just squeeze our way in through here 
and just place in the window in behind, just like this, and then just break out like that. And that will look just like this. And then the next thing you're going to do is just build these windows across here. And so leave a four block gap along here, just there, and then punch in a three block gap right there. And then repeat the same process, mashing in this kind of five by three area right here, mashing in this, and then building in the frame behind, just like this, just behind the window. And that will look just like this, of course, identical to this window right here. And then adding in the walls and the sides, and then the smooth centered slabs on the top and on the bottom, just there. And then some stairs right there. And then, of course, the beams across, so one right there, and then one right here at this height right there. And then, of course, the window in behind, and that will be just there. Of course, identical to this one right here. That will look just like this. And if you've done it like me, they will be kind of centered around the tower. Of course, do not worry if they are not. There's nothing to worry about there. And that will look like that. And then, of course, we need to continue these windows along. However, one another thing I hate is how they're not actually evenly spaced out. And so, what we need to do is actually come out eight more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then break another three blocks right here. And then, well, do the exact same process again. So, of course, the rim, breaking the five by three area in the middle, then the frame behind. Of course, identical to the other two windows we just built. And then the fire sandstone wall, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then the slabs on the top and the bottom, just there, and then the archway there, and then of course the kind of dividing frames, which goes right there, and then of course the window in behind. And that will look just like that, with an eight block gap from there to there. And then this area right here is similar to here, so we will break, it will go across four more blocks, and then add in another window right here, just like this in this area right here. So basically, this complex is this complex here, and then there's an eight block gap in between, and then the exact same complex right here. And so all we need to do is just add in the frame behind as usual, the walls, the slabs, the arch, the dividers, and of course the glass in behind. And there we have it, another window. And then if we move along at this height along here, so taking so take these, basically move along at the same height as the other windows come across, come across four blocks along here, and then smash in another window right here. So obviously the five blocks up, and then the three there, just like this, obviously identical to these windows here, just squished up against this wall here, and then of course the frame in behind, and of course identical to the other four windows we just built, and then the walls, the slabs on the bottom and the top, the archway, the dividers, and of course the window in behind. And there we have it, the five windows along here, now complete. And that means that this side of the east wing is now done and dusted, which is absolutely spectacular, meaning we only have the last section here, which of course is the astronomy tower. And you may be wondering what this area over here is, well, we will leave that for another video. Since, well, everyone really wants to get on with the astronomy tower, so let's make a start on that, and we'll have a full video next episode dedicated to the Astronomy Tower. This is now time for the Astronomy Tower, which has so much height Hogwarts. Of course, it is the tallest tower in the books, but in the model, well, it's not the tallest, unfortunately. It's the second tallest, so it's close enough. And so the first thing we are going to do is upon our foundations we have, we're going to build up six more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I just build this all the way around the foundations we already have built out. So it's six blocks along here. And so the Astronomy Tower is, of course, a lot of building up since, well, it's a tower, so what do you expect? Um, and unfortunately, it is a very irregular shape, which means it will be quite hard for us to actually use a full command along, which is quite annoying. And then, of course, with this um, kind of gap here, just leave a three block gap for the, for the doorway, and then just keep building on top. And so just build around this entire foundation of the Astronomy Tower. Not this line here, that is a separate courtyard, which we will do later in the series. And just pull this all the way up. Of course, six blocks. I'm just doing three at a time. This is kind of what you can do in Java Edition. And I'll see you once you've done it up six blocks. And that will look just like this. And I guess we should also have some background information on the Astronomy Tower. However, I will leave that for the next episode, since that episode will be completely dedicated to the Astronomy Tower. But we need some general information on the shape. So the shape is tall, obviously. It does get wider towards the bottom, which does make sense to support such a large structure. And this will be building right now, the kind of bit where it shallows into the kind of main tower at the top. And its shape is rather complicated. So yeah, make sure we are concentrating since this bit is a bit complicated. But do not worry if you do get a bit wrong, it does not matter. And so in this kind of outer section right here, before we come into the courtyard, we're just gonna place in some stairs around here. 
we just loop around just like this, which will allow us to make it a bit thinner as we go into the next section. And that will look just like this. And then if we go into this main section here, and this is where it gets a bit complicated since obviously it is at a curve. And so the first thing we will do is build up two blocks along here until it comes out five blocks across. So one, two, three, four, five, just there. And then place two sandstone walls just like that, just there. And then two sandstone stairs there, some stairs there. And then just carry this on across just like this. And then grab yourself a smooth sandstone slab and place this right there. Then a block right there. And then it will go up another layer in the middle section right here. So this section will be seven blocks tall actually. And then go up one more block in the middle, just right there. And then on either side of this block, we will place two slabs just there and two slabs just there. And then of course, repeat the exact same thing along here. So a block there, a slab there, and then just stairs facing in all the way along here. Just like this, two stairs there, two walls, and then of course, one, two, three, four, five, just there. Of course, two blocks tall, and that will look just like this. And of course, these stairs are allowing us to thin into the next section. And so this next section we are going to build, well, let's start it right here. So go in one block just there and carry on this across. Of course, we'll have to go down a few blocks along here. Just give us some maneuvering room. And so now build up two blocks just right there, just like this. And then two blocks behind just there and there. And then two blocks behind here, two blocks behind here. And basically just two blocks behind every single block along here. So just continue this all the way around, just like so. Just two blocks behind every single block, just like that. And then once you get to the walls, you can just go up a bit higher and just loop this all the way around the rest of the tower. And then of course, coming back down for this area and then just kind of filling this area in. Of course, do not worry if you mess up a little bit, it really does not matter. The shape is so large, small differences will not matter at all. And there we have that. This is the first kind of section where it does go in a bit. Of course, I left out these gaps along here. You don't need to, it's just for the interior, which we'll be doing at a later section. And so, just like how this bit went a bit higher and kind of rounded off just like this, we do that onto this section as well. And so, build out five blocks of one, two, three, four, five, just like this. And then a slab right there, right there. And then two slabs on either side, just one there, and then one there. And then a slab right here, leave a gap, and then a stair there, a stair there, two stairs there, and then two stairs just like that. And of course, the exact same thing on the other side. So a slab right here, leave a gap, leave a one block gap there, and then just stairs facing this way for the rest of the tower, just like that. And then the next section. What we're going to do is build up four blocks here. So one, two, three, four, just like this. And then, and then the next thing we're going to do is take our kind of straight sections, which is starting from this block right here, and then just build up three more blocks across along here. And so just build up three more blocks along here and just have this wrapping around the whole around the whole tower just like so only along these straight lines and then we can continue to build in the rounder section at the back and then come to a stop once you reach the sandstone wall right there and then the next thing we are going to do is just continue the rounder section at the back and so build out three more blocks from this um behind all of these blocks here so one two three just like that three blocks there and just place in three blocks around behind all of these stairs right here, just like this. Just building out a few more blocks, basically just behind every single one, just to narrow it down this curve just by a bit to allow us to go into the next section. And that will just go around just like so, just like that. And it will look like this once complete. And so what we are going to do is place one block right here, just like that. And then we are going to place slabs on every single block until we get to this block right here. And then we're just going to build up this middle section across up just by one block, just like this. And then a block in the middle, just like that. And then some slabs either side, just like that. And of course, some slabs going all the way around here, like that. And then a block right there, just like this. And then right here, we'll place a block there and right there, just in that position right there, just like that. And then the same thing on this side as well. Of course, this is completely symmetrical. And then build up one block there and one block there, just like that. And then you can place two walls on all of these blocks right here. So two there, two here, and then two here. And then upon these straight lines along here, we're just gonna place in some more stairs along here to allow us to go into the next inner section. So just wrap these all the way around here, just like so, wrapping all the way around until we come to stop right here. And then this will go into the final section, which will be the last one before it does just go straight up. And so what we will do is go up six blocks behind 
these stairs right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And just do that behind every single block now. So six there. Of course, just going down to seven behind these blocks right here. Going up. This is just behind all of these blocks as usual. Just like this, just going up like that. Another one behind these blocks just there. And then behind all of these blocks as well. Just going up until it comes to the same height as all these other blocks. Just like this. And just the same thing on this side as well. So coming up to here, just to come to the same height as everything else. Just there, on there, one there, and one there, and one here. Just like that. And then of course, we will just wrap this all the way around the rest of the tower. And build this to the exact same height as the rest of this build. And so just build up five more blocks on this area here. Until it is the same height as this back section right here. And that will look just like this. And then finally the last section which will just go straight up. We will just build in some stairs along here. Just like this. Of course the exact same thing as we've already done. These will just loop around all the way along here. Just like that. And then we can start to mark out the design of the final astronomy tower shape. And so place some blocks all the way along here. Just like this. Looping in behind all the stairs. Just like that. And then come up out two blocks just there. Come in one block just like that. Then come across diagonally, basically behind all of these blocks right here. And then bring and then bring these out diagonally until we come to this block right here. Place another block right there, and then three blocks right here. And that will be the shape of our astronomy tower. And of course, repeat this onto the other side, so two blocks here. Go across diagonally right there, and then two blocks right there to create an L shape. And that shape will look just like this. And this will be our final shape of the astronomy tower. But the first thing we do is of course just round off a little bit. And so add in some stairs along here. So one there, one there, one facing this way there. And then one block right there. And then place a block right here. And then, it's, and then a sandstone wall right there. And then of course the same thing onto this side. So one there, one there, so one there, one there, one there, and then one there. And that will be the kind of base of the astronomy tower, which is a complicated part, and then it is easy for the bit at the top. And then of course the bit right at the top is quite complicated, but it's this basically similar to this. It kind of thinners and it has a few towers at the top. It's really just a roof that is a bit complicated. But that will conclude this episode. And so it looks like we didn't do as much progress since the watch is kind of polishing up, but look at how the east wing is looking right now. My gosh, that is looking spectacular. And for the astronomy tower, is very complicated, just at the east wing, just at the drone section over here. So it will take some time to build. Hopefully it will just take next episode, but it might loop in a bit into the episode in two episodes time. But look at it, it's looking absolutely amazing. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Of course, if you did enjoy the video and you're not subscribed, make sure to press that subscribe button and it really does help the channel. And of course, press like and leave a comment. And of course, if you did get stuck at any point in this tutorial, you can join my, you can join my Discord server for support. And that's about it. We will continue the Astronomy Tower in episode 14, I believe. And so I will see you guys then.